Hi, my name is Josh Kallenberg, and I'm here at the Van Nuys Airport in Los Angeles, California. I've been flying professionally for about 13 years, and now I have the pleasure of flying this Gulfstream G450, which is a lot of fun and exciting. And today, I'm going to talk to you about becoming a pilot. All right, so this is the guide to the cockpit of the uh, Gulfstream G450. Let me show you some of the primary instruments here and things that you would uh, find unique to this aircraft, and also you'll find it in uh, an aircraft that you'll be learning how to fly in. Uh, the first thing we'll start with is the yoke. Basically, use this to uh, climb and descend, which obviously means take off and land. Uh, allows you also to make turns left and right uh, in the air. You also have uh, a throttle in our airplane. We have two of them, one for each engine. Uh, when you're learning how to fly, you're most likely going to fly in a single engine. The principle is the same. You push the throttle forward, the plane goes faster. You pull it back, the plane goes slower. It's like a gas pedal. On the primary flight display is uh, your airspeed indicator, your attitude indicator, your altimeter, you have a heading indicator, especially uh, when you're flying in clouds. You obviously can't see outside. You have to uh, rely on your instruments in this case. We have a map display that shows you where you are uh, in kind of an overview uh, type vantage point. Um, and we also have one that shows you uh, on a vertical uh, display. We also have the ability to uh, have to show our airplane on an actual map of the airport. So again, taxing into unfamiliar airports. So our overhead panel, everything is organized in a real logical uh, fashion. And while your air conditioning is together, uh, you know, your fuel system is together. We have the ability to heat up the uh, leading edges of the wings, uh, the leading edges of the engines. Uh, that allows you to remove uh, any sort of ice. You can start your engines over here. External lights are grouped in this one area. Again, everything's grouped together, so you just don't have to go hunting around the cockpit uh, to find switches. You should know pretty much where they are. Uh-oh. Just kidding. 